time and with all the excitement, it can also create some stress and anxiety. And today's guest helps your kids get mentally ready for the school year. Steve Kopp is a PhD and executive director of Genesis Psychology Associates. And thank you so much for coming in. It's my pleasure to be here. It's an exciting time of the year, but whether kids are already back in class or heading into school in the next few days, what are some of the things that, that you tell parents to do to get them ready? Sure. Right now, this first step is really more behavioral. It's about being able to make a transition um, before the transition happens. So establishing bedtime routines, uh, wake-up routines, mealtime routines, all of those structures that give a kid a sense of locus of control will go a long way when they now step into school and the challenges that that brings. Wow, that, that really makes a lot of sense and makes it a lot easier for the kids once they are in school. So if there are um, problems with, uh, you know, more than just excitement, that the kids are maybe anxious or fearful, what are some of the signs that a, you know, a parent should recognize? Mm -hmm. Well, some, you know, one part of this is, is that anticipatory anxiety is a very normal um, reaction to a transition. Um, so again, we want to be mindful that, that it's a good thing that they're going through, is that some are going to have that, and it's, it's a part of a preparatory process of coming onto something new. When it gets out of control, like, you know, times when, again, that anxiety now becomes more um, limiting and impairing, um, you know, the main thing that we want to do is, is make sure that we're providing them with a lot of support and understanding. You know, I think one of the things that happens is that we naturally don't want our kids to feel uncomfortable or to suffer or to in any way be really challenged by something. And so we try to help them by actually invalidating their experiences. So when they say, I'm really anxious or I'm really nervous, you're like, oh, you're going to be all right. Yeah. And it's actually an invalidation of how they feel. We need to go the other direction, validate how they feel and go, it is scary. Change is hard. Um, but, you know, um, what, are you, what did you learn last year? And how did you do last year? What are we going to learn? What are we going to use from last year this year? Right? Yeah. Um, so again, walk them through and create more independence in their thinking by helping them solve the problem. Yeah. And uh, so when a parent is faced with this and their child won't open up, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of parents, they can't get their kids to talk about what's bothering them. Do you have right. any tips for that? Well, one of the things that we want to do is make sure that we're asking open-ended questions. Many a times we're like, are you okay? Mm -hmm. And they're fine with that one, one yeah. word answer. So again, asking them, how you doing? Um, one of my things is I like to trick a kid, you know. I like to ask them. <laughs> he you know. just admitted that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. You know, every parent has to learn the tricks. And one of the tricks is, is to get to your kid through other kids. Ask them how their, ki their friends are, are doing. Ask their friends how they think their friends are feeling. Ask them how other kids deal with this. Mm. Because it also, by that what we call circular questioning, that gets them out of their own perspective and looking at it from a different um, you know, perspective, which can many times give them much more agency. Yeah. Right? Get them out of their own head. So if there is a larger issue going on, how does a parent recognize that and know it might be time to get professional help. Right. Well, um, you know, the main thing that I would say is when in doubt, check it out, mm -hmm. right? Um, but, uh, you know, major personality changes or major behavioral changes, right? If a kid goes from being a great sleeper to suddenly can't sleep at all, um, you know, or suddenly picks up something like bedwetting or those kind of things, that's a major sign for us. And if it's uh, aligned with the transition, we want to let that play out a little bit, give them support, right? Spend a little more quality time with them. But once it gets to a point where you're like, this is not my kid, we need to be checking that out. Mm -hmm. Always trust your intuition as a parent. There are lots of resources in our community, whether that's school counselors or therapists or uh, prim uh, pediatricians. You know, utilize those resources because we'd rather be proactive when it comes to mental health issues than be behind that eight ball and reactive to it. Yeah, great yeah. advice. We really appreciate it. Steve Kopp with Genesis, thanks for coming in. Always a pleasure.